What is up, Yak Squad? Today, this video right here, we have two special guests. We have a wild, where's he at? A wild fishing with Norm and a wild first date fishing. Both their channels are gonna be linked down in the description below. What's up, below. Yak Packers? Yak Packers. What's going on, Yak Squad? Hashtag Yak Hashtag Squad. smash subscribe. <laughs> All right, check it out. What we're doing today is I'm gonna be kind of taking these guys on a, a little South Florida pond hopping tour, okay? Adventurers. Yeah, a little, a little pond hopping first adventure day. with fishing with Yak Pack. We're gonna be taking these guys. So Norm is actually from Florida, just from North Florida. Which is a completely different state almost. Like it feels like I'm yeah. in a different state in North Florida than I am in South Florida. Yeah. And Central, I feel like Central Florida, South Florida, and North Florida are all, they all should be different states. There should be 53 or two. Yeah, 52 yeah. states yeah. in well, the United States. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. So the place that I'm gonna take them today, where we, where we are going to start this adventure, where we're gonna start this exploration process, is a place that I, have broke my PB at one time before. Like I said, their channels are gonna be linked down in the description. So I'm excited. We've got to get everything rigged up and ready to go. But with that being said, let's do exactly that. Get in the car, get to the spot, and let's get to fishing. Holy smokes, guys, look at this. Look, 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 look. So this iguana is in the water dead right now, okay? And that's tragic. It got so cold here in South Florida last night that the iguanas were basically freezing. They're such warm-blooded creatures. They were freezing and like locking their bodies up and they were falling like up here. They were falling out of the trees. And so what happened is this guy fell out of a tree and tragically drowned. So let me get a, a rip in the chat for iguana, man. That's sad. That's really sad. I'll link an article popping up on the screen. You guys will see it, but iguanas were le legitimately like they were freezing and they were locking up. Their bodies were locking up and then falling out of trees and coldest day Florida's seen in like years. Hey, Norm, there's a giant iguana right here. Speaking of iguanas, look at this thing. That is like a granddaddy iguana. Look at this dude. Oh God, there he goes. <laughs> These things are giant. Well, he was in the sun baking, kind of getting himself thawed out. So that's a good sign. We've got uh, one still alive and kicking. Look at this monster. Look at this guy. Look at this dude. There we go. First fish of the day, baby. <clears throat> first fish of the day on the little uh, flashbang right here. Well, this is the first fish of the day for me. So if that's a sign of anything, then we'll take it. Thanks, uh, thanks for everything you do for this uh, wonderful fishing community. I love you. Go grow and we'll catch you next time. Back to the depths you go. 10 out of 10, solid release. Good fish, that's what I'm talking about. He ate the uh, the little flashbang right here. This thing is like legitimately my favorite, favorite underspin I've ever used before. Oh, he spit it. Damn. He grabbed it twice. He grabbed it twice. I knew he would be there. I knew he would be there. Actually, the golf course is close today, so you got to go. <laughs> Telling golfers to leave the golf course. Those are going to be fun. How long do you think we're about five minutes? 30 tops. 
out of the pipe. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna show you. It has been retrieved, and I'm gonna cast it on you. This is how you get kicked out of a golf course right here. Norm's like, oh, there's a pipe? Let me just walk on it. It's smart. I like the way you think, Norm. We can bounce to that next spot if y'all want to, because obviously ain't nothing happening yeah, as long here. As you can get like a video out of it. Yeah, ain't nothing happening here. And I'd rather not waste daylight. Let's go ahead and start moving to the next spot. You know what I mean? Sure. All right, well, that spot was very unsuccessful, unproductive. On to the next spot, we move. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, electric chicken. Electric chicken. Come here, boy. Get up here. Ah, oh, let's go, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> let's go, dude. Oh. Yeah, bro. Yes. He chomped it. He chomped it, dude. Chicken down the, the uh the only rule of thumb for releasing fish in florida right now it's not such a big deal but that's the last thing you want to be doing in the summertime because alligators <laughs> they'll come up and they'll right. come up and chomp that fish there you go that was a good little fish that fish ain't even started feeding yet for the spawn yeah yeah you could tell it, yeah it's sketchy like right now you don't really have to worry about it because it's kind of the water's cold so if they're here they're at like the bottom of the lake just chilling but like summertime, you definitely don't want to be playing with a fish in the water like that. That's that Florida shit, bro. You gotta, you get on it and like, you gotta make sure you get it right. You gotta make sure you get it right. Yeah. Also, it's kind of sick. No, it's got it. It just chips a little bit. See, it just comes off. I'll just touch it up and repaint it. Yeah. I just, and people thought I was trying to like hide the lose logo. And it's like, I'm not, bro, because look on the grip. Like, it's a lose rod. It's not, it's just, I wanted this color rod. Ooh. Right as you said it, too. Yeah, skunk off the boat. He really wanted that. There you go. Not a bad first fish, I guess, but we want something That's the bad. a little bit bigger than that. He just kind of swam up beside it and grabbed it. I watched him do it. He didn't, he didn't, uh, right on the edge of this weed line. Yeah. Nothing crazy, man. He did, he just swam right up to it and just, he put it in his mouth. gonna come off. It's all right. I'll take it. I was just talking about switching up to the Mondo worm. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that now. I know I caught two on that. So. About time. I didn't record that either. I got it the last second. It's all that all it guys. Look, I'm gonna show you something that always happens. I know you guys are seeing like the last two thirds of this, but. Patterson says, oh, that's a nice looking pocket. Let me just cast right here real quick. And then boom, <laughs> as it hits the water, smack. Boom, smack. I mean, it's not a big one, but hey, bass is a bass. The first yeah. of the day. Hey, small fish is better than no fish. Oh, yeah. Ooh. There we go. Nicest one of the day so far. Good fish. Nice. So here's a little update actually on the rod. The only thing is right here, you can see where the rod is kind of like the paint's chipping, which I fully expected. And this is just for me having it under my arm when I'm fishing and setting the hook. Another thing we've got right here, it's the paint's rubbing off on my hand for when I hold the rod. I always like kind of grip the rod like that. And we've got some more paint chips along the, uh, along the blank. But other than that, like towards the top, it's not bad. There's really no paint chips at all. So do I regret painting this rod? absolutely not i love the way it turned out i love the color uh, i'm actually going to touch this up and i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to find a way to maybe put another like a gloss coat on him and try to keep it like the color it is and the way it looks it's a helicopter 
But anyways, I am not upset at all whatsoever with the nature of that rod, with the quality of the rod and stuff like that. Like the, the quality didn't drop. I didn't notice any diff, or I, I haven't so far. I've been using it for roughly, uh, I don't know, 10 days or so. And I fished with it every single day. Caught a bunch of fish with it and I haven't noticed any, you know, drop of sensitivity or any, just any quality drop whatsoever. I haven't noticed that. So uh, pretty good so far, but I'll update you guys again probably here in the next three weeks or so. So we'll give it like, a, you know, an immediate impressions like you saw the other day, uh, a little 10 day update like you saw right now. And then about three weeks from now, it'll be about a month uh, review. And I'm sure I'll have to touch the rod up a couple times in between that. But anyways, uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if there's anything other like weird or crazy that you guys would like to see me spray paint because I'm all about that. Thanks again for watching guys. We'll catch y'all next time.